In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make this base sketch for the water pump. So first, I'm going to push Control to have my keyboard and go back to my blank document. Next, I'm going to select the top plane until I want to create a sketch there. Then I'm going to use mouse gesture to activate line. First, I'm going to draw all the lines and then I'll stop and add the dimensions and relationships required and then I'll come back and add the three point arcs. So I'm going to create this line. It'll become a center line later. I'm going to double click move away from it and then I want the other lines just in their rough position so I'm going to create one up here remember move off double click I'm still creating a line come over here down and I just want the rough shape so once again I'm going to double click and move off somewhere over here I have an angled line and then I'm going to come down here I want to be careful I don't add a relationship I don't want, and I'm going to push Escape to stop. Then I'll select this line, and I'll change it to Construction Geometry. With these lines created, before I continue on, I'm going to now use Mouse Gestures and activate Smart Dimension, and I'm going to add some dimensions, as much as I can, to get as much of this geometry as possible fully defined. Can push escape to leave the half dimension and I want this angle to be 65 push escape again to leave that half dimension and I want this included angle to be 130 and again I'm going to continue to dimension what I have known and I know from here to here will be 0.525 I know this angle to here is 55 and that this angle and this angle is 12 um, push escape to stop the half dimension and I also know from this point to here where I'll add the fill in, in a minute is 9 so I'm going to push escape the next thing I want is this point is coincident with this center line and at this point I'm going to take a second and I'm going to add this 1.25 fillet here I'll right click to accept that and I'll stop creating fillets so it appears as if I've added every dimension and relationship I can for now I'll fix things up later obviously this line needs to be more over here but I'm not going to worry about any of this yet so now I'm going to use the three-point arc and I'll use this style and I'm going to start adding some arcs and again just a rough shape of where it should be and I'll fully define it in a bit. So I need an arc from here to over here and then I realize I'm just going to push escape I missed a line here so I'll go back into line and I'll add this line. Again, I'm going to push escape. At this point, I'd just like to see it fully defined, so I'm going to add a few more dimensions and relationships to get it fully defined. I know that this line and this arc are tangent. Same thing here. I know this arc and this line are tangent. I'll use my mouse gestures to activate smart dimension, and this radius is 1. And from the origin over it's two inches and then from the origin up is inch and a quarter and I can see how things are becoming fully defined as I add the relationships this radius here is one and three eighths and again from the origin to its center is two inches and from the origin up to its center, just get the proper dimension, we'll move it over here, it is inch and a half. I'm going to push escape, and once again we can see it's becoming fully defined as I work my way around. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this endpoint around a bit. I'll fully define this next. So I'll activate smart dimension. Okay, this dimension is 5.5. .5. I'm 
just going to push escape. I'm not worried about how it changed. I'm just going to drag it around. And I can see that center point moving. It's close to where it should be now. So I'm going to select the origin, hold control, select the center point, add the vertical relationship. And next, again, I'll activate smart dimension and I'll dimension from the origin to the arc center. Put it over here and this is 2.75. Push escape. So what I have left is this endpoint isn't fully defined. These endpoints aren't fully defined. And I need three more three-point arcs. So I'm gonna go back here again, activate three-point arc, choose this style. I need one here. And then I need one over here and another one here. Just get it roughly correct. So the shading turns on because I have a fully enclosed shape now. And I'm going to add the relationship and the dimensions to finish it off. So I'll select this arc, hold control, select the line, add the tangency. Same thing here. These two are tangent. This and this are tangent. This and this are also tangent. I know these two points are horizontal. And I know these two arcs are equal. I'll activate Smart Dimension. I know this radius is inch and a quarter. And that this distance is 0.4. But this radius is 3 eighths. And that this distance to this point is inch and an eighth. So I'm going to push escape to stop that mentioning. I'm going to double check everything, but my sketch is fully defined. So I can exit the sketch and continue building my water pump from there.